Hey there, welcome to Protolab's Digital Design Tips. I'm Rob Young. Every day, we collaborate with designers, engineers, and companies ranging from small startups to multinational corporations. We see a lot of sheet metal parts, and one of our most common questions we get is what are the best strategies to convert a flat sheet of metal into something useful? Sometimes it's trickier than it seems. This is our Z-Frame. This part looks small, but it's actually packed with important tips to help improve your sheet metal designs. Some of the design elements are all about safety. Some speak to function, and others just help your parts look better. Let's take a closer look. Most of us want to look sharp, but when it comes to sheet metal, looking sharp can be dangerous for your customers. To make sure your customers don't go broke buying bandages, round off your corners. Using radii not only looks great, they also eliminate customer complaints about sharp corners. Another alternative is to use chamfers, which safely square off corners. Bottom line, if you like your customers, add radii or chamfers. This may seem obvious because we're working with a single piece of sheet metal, but make sure your part has uniform part thickness. You'd be surprised how often we get models that require different thicknesses on the same sheet. You can incorporate multiple thicknesses in your sheet metal parts, but it means that we'll have to weld a second element onto the first one, which will cost you time and money. What converts a drab sheet of metal into something that looks great? Powder coat. Two things make powder coat great. First, it's colorful. We stock almost 40 colors, but we can order anything you might need. Second, it seals the metal beneath a protective layer, eliminating corrosion and ensuring long life for your parts. One of the often forgotten things about working with sheet metal is the opportunity for branding and providing information. You often have huge blank areas that could show off your logo, motto, really any text or image. Silk screening is a technique that stood the test of time. Best of all, it adds another thin layer of corrosion protection for your part. You can even use it to incorporate instructional labels and enclosure markings. Gnarly isn't a word you want associated with your sheet metal parts, but it's what you get if you try to create a bent flap on the edge of your part. When it goes through a press break, the entire sheet of metal will twist and distort. Save yourself headaches, embarrassment, and delays, and add bend relief. These small notches turn gnarly into nice, and they look pretty great too. Who doesn't like to customize their parts? These circular slugs give your end users the power to do it themselves. If they want to stash a pencil in there, it's ready to go. But if they try to stick a highlighter in there, they're in for a world of pain and inky hands. If you give your customers the option to punch out the slug, they can have it both ways. One great way you can show you took some extra time to perfect designs is to add countersinks. It's a small thing, but nothing looks better than seeing a screw sit flush against a part's surface. Say goodbye to ugly screw heads popping out to mess up the landscape. As a bonus, countersinks also help guide your hardware into a hole. Well, that wraps it up. I hope this tour of our Z-Frame sheet metal design aid was helpful. If you want a Z-Frame of your own to sit on your desk and help inspire you, just go to the link at the bottom of the screen. Thanks for joining me today and good luck with your next design project.